Hey, TNW family, welcome back. I'm working on a 2018 um, Acura RDX, and what I'm doing now is taking a torch. This is the brake rotor. I gotta get this rotor off. They put like a screw in here. You have to heat up because if it don't come loose, it's kinda got a little rust on it. You have to heat it up. Move just a little bit. You can do this, this is safe. You gotta use what's called a little butane torch. You can buy them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart sells them. Ace Hardware, a lot of your hardware stores sell these torches now. Just heat this metal just enough, like so. Get hot enough, maybe a few minutes, three to five minutes. Turn it, of course, turn it off. You turn it off. To, to the side, somewhere safe. Let me get, let me get, let's get hot. This is an impact um, Phillips head screwdriver. It's called an impact. What you do, you put it on there. Hit it like so. Until the boat breaks loose. Once the boat breaks loose, see this rotor is warped. It's got a lot of lines in it. So when you stop in the vehicle, it's shaking. Just take your hammer. We got a solid metal hammer. Take it and just go. I rolled it one time, boom, it come loose. Come loose, boom, there you go. You can use this on the uh, 2018 RDXs. Any of the Acura Honda products have the same screw. Some of them have two screws. Unfortunately, it's only got one. And you can use the same method. Um, a torch I recommend because it's rusty. Heat and water get in there sometimes. You know, you use this bear and knock on it, you can break your head on your impact. So you best to heat it up at least about three to five minutes. Get enough heat. Once you do that, you see the application. It should come off. Once you take it off, you put your new rotor on. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put a new rotor on. Hey guys, anytime you're changing out rotors, take the old part and just measure it up like so. Put the both together, measure them up. It like it fits. Find the right hole that you need. Like on this application, this hole right here is the right one. Boom, voila. And you take your screw, put up to the hole like so. Take your fill head screwdriver. Turn it right in the place. Voila, voila. Once you do that, you can take your uh, caliber, caliber bracket and then caliber. These are, these, by the way, these are 19 millimeters that you would need, 19 millimeter half inch um, to get these off. You just screw them back in like so. All right, I'm just screwing them back in by hand. Once you get them in by hand, I'm using a half inch, 19 millimeter. Put it back on the own position. What I did, I took a screwdriver, put between the pad and the piston, and the rotor and push the piston back so I can get the pads back in there. That's what I used. All right, I'll take my hammer, knock it down a couple of times, make sure, make sure it's tight and snug. Welcome y'all guys to the TNW channel today. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Same method. Make sure everything's snug and tight. I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter box end wrench to chain these pads out. Take my hand and Judy chop, I call it the judy chop method. Take your hand, just palm of your hand and just boop, judy chop it. Once you judy chop it, take the 14 millimeter bottom bolt out only, 14. Take it and flip it up like so. Once you flip it up like so, pads come right out. Hey guys, what's going on, man? I'm gonna let you know, hey, the W's gonna go ahead and have a nice video for you in a little bit. Hey, right, I want you to always click the bell, subscribe, comment, Next video for to come up very soon. You make sure you pay attention to what's going on in this video. And after you look at that video, click on it at the bottom for the next one. Because it's coming right your way. Stay tuned.